Hi mamas, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Sarah and welcome. Today's video will be a collab with the wonderful Jessica Faust. I absolutely love her channel. She's newer to YouTube as well, but I have just fallen in love with her personality and her little baby is so, so cute. So if you want to check her channel out, I will list it above and below. And we are doing a collab today for our August favorites. I have a few here, not too many, but I just did fall in love with a few things this month and I wanted to share this with you. So if you want to see what I got this month in August, then keep watching. All right, mamas, let's get started. If you hear any background noise, my kids are just kind of being noisy in the playroom. So apologize in advance, but mom life. So the first thing I will start out with is my drink that I'm loving. Um, this is from Starbucks. It's the peach citrus white tea drink. Highly recommend. I don't know if this will be available in the fall, so definitely get over mm, and get that before it's out. Uh, I think I'm going to start with some like beauty favorites. Um, there's not too many, but I got a few things. Um, the first one is, they call it RCMA makeup, and it's just a no color powder. And basically, I just dust this all over my face. I will use it to like bake my face if I have like breakout or like in my tea area. Um, if you don't know what baking the face is, then there's a bunch of videos on YouTube, but I just learned about it and it's awesome. It's pretty inexpensive. I will list the prices below and where you can find it. Um, but I've been loving, loving, loving this. And it gives you like this glow. I don't know, it's awesome. So try that out. The next thing is um, earlier this month, I was in a wedding and I never buy makeup ever anymore and I had to have mascara. So I uh, didn't have time to go to the mall, didn't have time to order anything in online. So I went to Target and I found this Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama Waterproof Mascara. Um, this stuff is serious, you guys. Uh, it's pretty much like glue. It looks like Falsies, but it, and it stays on forever. I don't know if I would get the waterproof again because it literally doesn't come off I could wear it for like three days I'm not even kidding so um, if you want that like really wispy falsy look then I would highly recommend this and it's at the drugstore super cheap um, price you know you're not gonna spend like 20 bucks on a mascara so highly recommend that uh, the next thing is uh, the deodorant that I'm loving uh, right now it's a non antiperspirant because you know all the chemicals and stuff just they found it's not that good for you so I did um, try a few different ones, and this one is by Young Living. It is the Mountain Mint. Um, I love this stuff, and it gives like a minty feel on your armpit, so I don't know. If you like that, if you're into that, then I highly recommend this, and it definitely works. I do, uh, if it's like a sweaty, hot day, I might apply it like twice just because there is no antiperspirant, but you know the drill with those, so. But no smells, I don't think so. At least my husband can't tell, so. Definitely go ahead and pick this up and yeah, highly recommend. Um, okay, that's it. Oh wait, I do wanna recommend, I got my makeup brushes. I got the Morphe makeup brushes. I'm just gonna pull a few out here, but um, they're amazing. It's a synthetic brush. They're really inexpensive. It comes in a pack of I think 18 total. And I mean, look how cute these brushes are. They're so cute. Um, and I mean, there's just all different kinds of styles and they have like little tiny ones for your eye and lip and everything. So I am loving these brushes. I just got them this month. I haven't washed them yet. So I will uh, keep you posted on that. Um, I don't really wash my brushes too often. It's horrible, but honestly, probably once a month and I really should wash it more, but it's literally on the lowest of my priority. Sadly, it used to be really high, but yeah, so I would re definitely recommend um, these Morphe brushes if you're kind of getting new into using brushes or you just want something um, to revamp your current collection. I was using the Sigma brushes. I did have the full Sigma kit brushes and I loved those, but I did want to try something new and these are kind of all over, all over the internet. I know Jaclyn Hill is like a huge advocate of the Morphe and they're just really affordable. So definitely check it out. I would highly recommend. Okay, that's it for beauty, so let's get um, going into, you know, cleaning and stuff, because we all know I love that. Um, the product I bought this month that I just am loving and it smells so good is the Method Daily Shower, and I just spritz this after I get out of the shower, and it just makes my stuff sparkle. So 
you know, it's not in the place of cleaning, but if you did clean your shower and you do, it will definitely last a little bit longer than the normal. So I don't have to be in there scrubbing as often. Um, it says non-toxic plant-based yada yada. And it just says cleans without having to rinse. So I just spray it on and it does the job and I just love it. The smell is amazing. And it's not too overpowering because I do spray it on uh, before I get out of the shower. So definitely check this out if you're interested in the method products and I just love them. I literally have everything method I feel like. So yeah, definitely recommend that. The next thing I just picked up because I normally do the method scent boosters, but they didn't have any um, at my target this time when I needed some. So they had um, more stuff, obviously. I'm trying the do uh, doctor, uh, Mrs. Meyers um, scent booster in honeysuckle. And these are just as good, you guys. These are amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely pick this up if you can't find the method ones. And I'm sure that Grove Collaborative probably has these um, by now, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, so. I love the smell. If you know the honeysuckle smell, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And that, you can have your clothes smell like that. Amazing. So that's a good one. Um, the next item, I did get this in Seattle. So where I'm from, um, we have to pay for our bags when we go to the grocery store or like Target or anything. So I always bring like my big bag of collection that I have um, of, you know, shopping bags. So I got this one. I was in Pike's Place. And if you know Seattle, it's like a huge... Um, outdoor farmers market that everybody loves to go to they like throw fish and there's flowers and food and amazing stuff so i just got this it was really cute and i love it it's huge on the inside so it can hold a bunch of stuff and i just added this to my collection because i do collect bags now otherwise it's 10 cents a bag every time you go to any store in our county um which i do like because it does cut down on the plastic bags um so i've been loving all the bags that i have to get Woohoo! something to purchase right um, all right, the last two items I haven't opened yet, so these might be in a later favorites video, but I just had to show you because I already I already know I love them. Um, the first thing I found in the dollar uh, spot at Target, it's this felt calendar, and I'm going to start doing preschool after Labor Day with my kids, and I just thought this was super cute. You could put the day, um, the it has like a wheel and it'll show you like today is rainy, sunny, whatever that is. And it's really cute, the seasons. Um, and yeah, so I, I cannot wait to use this and hang it up and show the kids, you know, the days and the month and the seasons and the weather. So can't wait to try it. Uh, but yeah, how cute, right? I think this was, yeah, this was a $5 dollar spot item. But yeah, I think it's worth it. Um, the next item I got from the container store and I already know I'm going to love it, but I just had to show you, I'm going to be doing a fridge organization video very, very soon. Um, but, and I will be using this. So it's by fridge bins, interior or inter design fridge bins. And these are over at the container store. I don't know if you can pick them up anywhere else, but, um, yeah, the container store is awesome, you guys. I really do want to do a review one day on them, but I, I've never stepped in foot of a container store because that's pretty dangerous, but they literally brought my bag out to my car and it was paid for and everything, and I just, I highly recommend them. Um, but yeah, these are egg containers. How cute, right? So I can put all my eggs in there and then you don't have to look at like that cardboard um, box you have your eggs and I think it holds, yeah, 14 eggs. So if you have a few extra from your old carton, you can add them in here. Um, but yeah, no, this is BPA free too. So very cool. I cannot wait to do my fridge organization video for you. I got a bunch of fun bins and lazy Susans and all that. So please stay tuned and look out for that. Make sure you subscribe so you get the notification on that video. I also have a, uh, organizational laundry room coming up too, which I got a lot of stuff for. So yeah, lots of fun here at my house with organizing. So I hope that you stay tuned and watch those. But that is it for my favorites, you guys. I hope you had a great August. It's September 1st now, and I'm just ready to start fall season. It's been extremely hot where I live, and I'm just ready to just put it all away and start planning for fall and winter because that is my favorite time of year. I really, really appreciate you guys sticking through to the end here, and please check out Jessica's channel if you haven't already, and make sure to subscribe and like her video. I'm sure she has amazing favorites as well and I will see you in the next video. Bye, mamas.